Today I will be showing you three modern fountain pens that claim to have a somewhat flexible nib. They don't actually say that they're anywhere near a vintage fountain pen with a flex nib or a pointed pen with a flex nib, like a Nikoji or whatever nib you would call. These are more of a semi-flex nib or soft nibs that you can get some line variations from, so don't um, compare them to a proper vintage flexible fountain pen nib. Um, these three are modern pens that I have with this kind of nib and I will do a short comparison and show you what each nib can and can't do. So this is the Visconti Rembrandt, this is the um, Pilot Falcon and this is the Platinum 3776. And now I'll be showing you each one of them. I will start with the Visconti Rembrandt fountain pen. It is a lovely pen. Um, out of all three, this one is the one that feels the best quality because it has the metal um, grip section, which feels really high quality and nice. And well, it's it's made just in a really nice and um, really a nice way. So um, I chose this one with this extra fine calligraphy nib they call it. It's a steel nib and I think it is um, a new option that you couldn't always choose. They used to have F um, and B nibs and, and now they just uh, offer this nib as well which is quite hard to find. I only found it in one online shop. I think they used to have it in the calligraphy kit that they used to sell, or might still be selling. Um, but on this one online shop I found this nib option and obviously I was curious to find out what it could do. So I got this pen and the extra fine flex nib. So it is a very nice everyday writer. The ink flows great, the line is very fine. Wonderful for an extra fine European nib, which us usually run a bit wider. I'm very happy with this pen. As far as the flex is concerned, well, <laughs> don't fool yourself and think this is a flex nib. I will show you what it can do. So you can get some line variations, really. Um, but <laughs> you already see it. Like I. Um, I get quite a few railroading problems here. The ink flow just cannot keep up with the nib being flexed. And you have to press down rather hard to get some kind of line variation. And never write too fast because the ink flow just will not put up with you. Um, so yeah, this could maybe be called well, a semi-flex at most, I would probably say is um, well, a soft nib that can be pressed a little bit. But you see, like there is not a big line variation here. And when you want to use it for calligraphy, you will find that when you press it hard to get the shading, it feels a little scratchy. So it's not the nicest writing experience, really. And I don't know if I were using it much for calligraphy practice, because I think this railroading would just really unnerve me. Um, it might be due to the fact that this fountain pen is still quite new so maybe this will break in some I hope it will um, I think the other pens were a bit stiff at first and um, became a bit softer with time oops so yes this is a very nice pen if you want to use it for any script practice but maybe not use it for proper um, calligraphy styles like copper plate. Um, I, I don't think I would 
use it too often because the railroading would just put me off and it's it's quite um, quite the hard work to, to get it to flex really. So the next one I have here is the Namiki Falcon. Oh no, mine is not a Namiki, they changed that, so I have the Pilot Falcon. And the nib I have in here is um, this one, it's stemmed 14K, so it's a gold nib, I think it's plated iridium or something. And the nib I have in here is the SE, which is basically the soft extra fine. And this one does not claim to be a full flex nib either, um, but it says it's a well, kind of flex nib anyway. So this is a soft nib, um, which can get some line variation. So this one is the finest writer of all three. It's a Japanese nib and they usually have very fine nibs, which I like. It's, it's got a feeling of, of a needle point, more, more or less. Um, this pen is really nice. It's quite light. So weight-wise, it can't be compared to the Visconti, but it is a high-quality pen, I would say, for this price segment. So as far as the flexing goes, this flexes easier. I don't have to press as hard. Like the nib feels a bit softer. And it does not cause as much railroading. There is some line variation, some obvious line variation. And here is why you can't compare it to a Zebra G or whatever. It's just not um, comparable to that. But you will be able to um, have some, some really nice line variations. I do use this pen for some calligraphy practice and I am really happy when I use it. Um, the ink flow keeps up with a flex nib. Um, it has this nice and smooth feeling to it that I want in a calligraphy pen. So this overall is a fun pen to use for some calligraphy practice. It's never ever gonna be my main pan for practice but on the go I am really happy oops there is railroading I am really happy with this pen for calligraphy practice I can really recommend this one it's a nice pen as well so the third one is the platinum 3776 it's got these gold trims, which I personally don't really like that much, but, well, many pants have them, so better keep up with it. Um, the nib I have in here is um, a gold nib, only 40k, and it's the SF nib, which stands for um, soft fine. This one is a Japanese fountain pen, so it will have a fine line, but being a fine pen, a fine nib, it's not quite as fine as the extra fine in the um, Falcon or Pilot Namiki. It is a very smooth writer. I really like this pen. Um, it's, yeah, it's, it's, this nib is really nice. I can't say anything against this. So I'll test out how it goes with the flexing. It is smooth. You have to put some pressure on there to get this much of line variation. Uh, I would say the pressure I have to put on there is between the Falcon and the Rembrandt. It does work well, it doesn't have any railroading, so the ink flow is very consistent and can keep up with a flex nib. And again, um, I often take this pen with me if I know I want to do some on-the-go calligraphy practice.
Yep, I can attest to this. It's it's a good buy if um, you're looking for some soft knit. So again, um, all three basically do what they say they can. Um, every nib is slightly flexible or soft. Um, my favorite, I think, for getting a flex nib is still this one, the Pilot Falcon. And I really like this soft extra fine nib because it's just very, very fine and very smooth. And to me it was the softest of all three. And then as far as the flexing goes, I think my second pick would be the Platinum 3776. Um, it does flex nicely and the ink flow is, is wonderful. And sad but true, my third pick would be the Visconti. Because the nib is still very hard, it's a steel nib, and maybe that is the problem. It just can't be compared to a cobalt nib, I guess. Um, it just needs too much pressure and it cannot keep up with the ink flow. I get so much ray rolling, um, it really bothers me. So I don't think I will use this pen for practicing <laughs> calligraphy very often, which is really sad because I love that pen. It's just such a pretty pen, but let me try again. Um, and I hope that it works nicer now. Uh, oh well, yeah, it feels a bit scratchy, and then it's railroading about halfway down on my shading side. Um, yeah, it's just not as smooth as the two Japanese ones. I'm sad to say, but it does flex. So if you think you can put up with. Um, a little scratch in there. This is a very, very pretty pen and, and it, it does flex. So that was my short comparison of these three pens that I have and I hope you like it. Bye!